So, let's play Black Mesa. I'm excited to play this because I've had it for a while and I just haven't gotten around to playing it. And I love the first Half-Life. I love all the Half-Lifes. I've played Opposing Force. I've played Blue Shift. All those cool things. And I've never played Black Mesa. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a fan-made... Uh, Redux of it with all nice textures and they also changed some of the levels and they added a couple jokes and stuff like that I believe that's the situation <laughs> Let's play it I'm excited And they added female scientists very nice Yeah, it does not have the end of the game, but everyone hates the end of half-life one So I don't blame them for taking a while to fix that entire situation Zen is awful <laughs> What a piece of garbage level. Choo choo. We're going to work. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Hi. This automated train what is buttons to wave for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Don't talk to me until I've had Current my coffee. The outside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. Mm. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. What a good intro this game has. Man, we must be late to work because no one else is on this tram. Everyone else is already in. <laughs> oh, ye old load screen still exists, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, there we go. That guy's just sitting there. He's not working. <laughs> Where's the G man? I forget where this he's train at. Is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C. Oh man, I live here. The dormitories. That makes sense. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. Nice missile. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security oh, that guy from the transit system. <laughs> that Half-Life LP made the same joke I did. Whoops! <laughs> I have never, uh, I have not watched that LP, so I accidentally stole that joke. The first lady in a Half-Life game! If you retcon it, so that Half-Life 2 doesn't exist. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted... I would hate to hear this every morning system. on my way to work. Like, you just have to listen to this. Oh, does that say something? The inbound times? <laughs> Am I missing any G-mans? I don't think so. This part's new. I don't remember going outside. Team acquires new grant. Good for them. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. I know you uh, the PhDs in theoretical physics are wild childs that don't put your uh, hands inside the vehicle, so we have to it tell you this. Necessary to exit the train, Disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station. Please stay away from electrified rails, please. Hmm. By the time this tram ride is over, Half-Life 3 will be out. Ha 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 ha.
Here's a pesky G man. The G stands for gentle. Gentleman. Oh man. These load screens though. Do, 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 do. Tram maintenance. <laughs> Oh yeah, there it is. There's Half-Life 3. <laughs> A reminder that the Black Mesa has Oh my god, I'm older than Gordon Freeman now. No. Hours in the oh, the inexorable march of time. Fuck. security personnel will be announced in a separate secure And I don't even have a PhD in theoretical physics. What am I doing with my life? Oh god. Oh. He must have a fresh PhD. How long does it take to get a PhD in theoretical physics? He's 27. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings. Oh yeah, my cousin Jerry. Oh, he's smart. Material I mean, not book smart, but he's smart. Low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, and they're just showing off all the goods. contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. We even employ robots with crab legs. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Also, next year I'll be older than I think James Sunderland is in Silent Hill 2. Continued employment in the Black Mesa oh, Research God. Facility. Missing a schedule of your analysis or I'm probably already older than Bowser. Who knows how old he is? If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, well, there is, there is, there's a, there, there is, there's the gentleman, the G-man. I'm stuck. <laughs> Bye. I love you. <laughs> oh, I think I'm getting exposed here, right here. I think I'm getting exposed to radiation. I need to report that, right? That. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. I think James Please is 20... The automated door and wait nine. For the security officer or 28. To verify your identity. I think that's Before something that is only security, mentioned in the manual. Sure to check your area I think he's 29, actually. Belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe... Oh my god, Verse, you're an old man! I didn't know you are that old. Verse, you've been like 19 in my head for like 10 years. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just my head cannon about how old I thought you were, <laughs> and it made no sense. Morning, Not Mr. based Freeman. on anything. I should put the subtitles on. What am I doing? Uh, da -da 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 ah, where would I put those? No, oh, that's not. Wouldn't be a mouse. Captioning, no captions. I was looking for subtitles. I was looking for C for captioning. Doop. Looks like you're running late. Yes, I guess so. Is this Barney? Barney. You know, Barney. Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Oh, where's Barney? He's not. Oh. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. One of many Barneys, <laughs> yes. Oh, I could talk to people. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You need enough as it is. Pep. Oh, he follows me. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? Oh. 
like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. I want to be prepared in case aliens come, because you never know. <laughs> to think. Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses, when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. <laughs> Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Oh, I can, I can watch you while you sleep, don't worry. There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Uh, can we do this later? I can't, but maybe later. Wow, he's a lot of lines. Oh, sorry, Doc, I have to stay at my post. The hell? I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I'm on duty right now. Hey, catch me later. We'll, we'll talk about that science stuff. <laughs> that science stuff. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. Please leave me alone, Mr. Freeman! Um, where is... There's a button for zooming. I want to zoom on his face. Uh, suit zoom is... Oh, I don't have a suit on, so, uh... Can't zoom in on his beautiful visage. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? Oh! We can talk on my lunch break. Oh my god, he has so many... Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. I can't can't be a cunning linguist now. I'm at work. Man, this job is boring me to tears. Sorry, buddy. I got a job to do. Wow. Hey, catch me later. Okay, it finally looped. I can leave. <laughs> this is a thing with me. Hi. Hi. I work here. Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Ah! So oh, what a funny reference. Gordon Freeman's original design. Uh, he had like a, he looked like a Viking, honestly. He had a ponytail. Somebody link it in the chat. That is funny. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Be sure to stop by the front desk. Oh, I can talk to him too. We can talk my lunch break. Okay, he has very similar lines. Oh my god, it's a mug with like the developers' faces on it, and I can't zoom in on it because I don't have the uh, suit yet. Wow, this looks great. This hey, is a lot better. Freeman. This is cool. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. <laughs> oh, Mondays. So some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Oh, man. This looks a lot better because, um, this... I think this used to be there, but the desk used to be over here. Doctor Robertson, please report to Lambda Reactor. Oh my god. Yeah, the original one looks like Gimli, but I think he used to also have a ponytail. Is there a ponytail in it? Ah, Gordon. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Can this wait? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Rather. Too far away to chat up. You're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Yeah, there he is, little ponytail. <laughs> that is so funny. Is that the a Bible? Maintenance member. Cap. Please contact human. Okay, go need to go to personnel. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Hi! Yes, reports have gotten progressively worse. That's Kleiner. Good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need. Oh, they to all sound like Doctor Kleiner. Weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. My plans. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> Drat. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. We're scientists. Oh, Look, the periodic table's back there. Replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Malarkey! Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! <laughs> Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. 
Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. <laughs> Creativity is about hiding your influence. That's coming from people who made a remake of Half-Life 1. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Oh wow. Charts. You couldn't go in here? I think this is a new place. New peoples. Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? Ooh, a screensaver. I'm not oh, cool. I want that screensaver. <laughs> Man, I'm never going to get to work at this rate. This is too cool. I like her hair clip. This is too nice. She has another hair clip in the front, I think. Unless that's glasses clipping through her hair. Can you access the mail server? Oops. After all this, I don't know what to do. Hello, Dr. Cross. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Doctor, well, oh man, this is so cool. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be going to green. I think that might be where my suit is. I'm not sure. Morning, champ. Hey. 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 Everyone loves me here. This is in the old one. You could microwave this to death, I think. Good heavens! What the hell? Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Particle accelerators? Are those like donut holes? Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. <laughs> but, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. You-know-who-who. Who. Oh, ramblers, quivers, uppercuts, sea salt, nerve uppercuts. This does not bode well for the Naked fries! <laughs> Fab titties, what the hell? <laughs> Giant dumb dummies, quirky peppers. <laughs> I'd make myself scarce if I were you. Nebula break now. Worry, I'll cover for you. Foto. I don't think he's SARS. Ah, can't get myself any water, huh? Love them naked fries. <laughs> Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> oh, it's a pen. That was what I saw earlier. There's a pen behind someone's ear. Uh, Yangstone. Robertson. Oh, there we are. Here we go, now the game starts. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Ah, oh, different voice, right? I think they made the music too loud. <laughs> There's a zoom. Now that I'm in my suit, I can zoom to my heart's content. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Wow, your eyes are so beautiful! <laughs> They're so shiny! Oh yeah, textures. Not good enough. Gotta save some space somewhere. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Can we? Excuse me, minor emergency. Oh, thank heavens. Ha! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Make it rain. 
That's what I do in bathrooms. See if anyone's in the stalls. Wow, that's really funny. Of course, at the time it was Mark Three. No one asked you. <laughs> Communication. <laughs> that's pretty funny because Gordon Freeman doesn't talk. It's actually pretty funny. Oh, fine. Federal minimum wage five fifteen. Whoa, that's <laughs> terrible. What year is this supposed to take place in? I don't even know. It's a really bad min wage. I hope things return to normal in this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Dum dum dum. Do do do. Say hi to me. Gordon, I'm busy. Say hi to me. Everyone else has. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Ah, oh, why not? He's not busy. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. <laughs> uh-huh, that's me. Gordon Free Free. In the barrel. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Yeah, damn right. I'm just looking at this picture of myself. Wearing the same outfit that I always wear. Is this just what this guy does? He looks at himself back and forth. Later, Gordon. I'm busy. Oh, dude. This rolls. Technology. <laughs> well, wow, that's great. Is there a fourth one? Not just three. Hmm. I've oft been told my left side was better. <laughs> that is what he's doing. Oh my god. <gasps> That's really cute. Sergeant Boatsma. Boatsma. Peculiar name. Visionary. Safety. Like how I kind of tilt my head back and forth when I move. Very subtle tilt. And recycling. <laughs> Innovative! Our tram system is really cool! <laughs> I want to say hi to all my friends before I go to work. This is what I do. My routine. Funny story, Symphonic Pink. I'm glad your sister has good self esteem. <laughs> your sister sounds cute because she tricked herself. She was so cute. <laughs> Never mind, going back up. Oh, don't. Half Life Ladders! Oh. Okay. Good morning! We can talk later, Gordon. Fine. Fuck up your, your now, thing. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? Say hi I'm to me. I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Say hi to me. Say hi. Wow, excuse me. You shit. Everyone loves me except these guys. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Nerd stuff. Boring. What's up, Doc? 
Yeah, that's more like it. Hi, Freeman. You guys want a chair? <laughs> They need you in the test chamber. All right. Hey. Hey, wait. I've got to clean that thing up. Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. If another instrument malfunctions today, it. I'm going to explode. Please relax. Pick up that can. Things could be much, much worse. I can't believe they didn't give me achievement for that. Stop. Control yourself, Gordon. Oh, oh, oh no. Fascinating. Would you just look at that? They don't just give any old riffraff off the street the honor of wearing that lab coat, Gordon. Pick up that can. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you actually perform any work at all. Pick up that I can. Never. Oh. I love game physics. Oh, these people. I swear. Oh. Hey. Hey. Get in the... Oh, it's just black. It's not hollow. And there's those naked fries. Naked. Slammed. Kaboof. <laughs> I am all about putting trash away. Ah, Gordon. Hey. There you are. Nice of you to finally join oh, you look doctor. so young, Doctor Kleiner. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Oh. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105. Oh my God, your neck, sir. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Mm. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Test chamber. Mwah. Eli has been busy making last minute it preparations oh, Eli. for a new experiment. The anti-mass spectrometer is finally ready for today. Talking about Eli. Talk at lunch, Gordon. Oh, you guys are just so sloppy. Are your pants green? Greetings, oh, it's light. Eli, Morning, Izzy. Hi, Eli and Izzy. You well. Gordon. Oh, he Good looks morning. great. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. Oh. They're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. Failure, failure, what failure. Please, is this going on oh. with our equipment? Oh, it was. Never meant to do this in the first place. Everyone is so young. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. Yeah, Eli, they did an incredible on. job with this, like recontextualizing the Half-Life One dialogue, and like it's very obviously Eli. Now, I don't think in the first one it was obvious that it was Eli from the second this one. Take a bit longer than I anticipated. I think they didn't know they were going to have Eli in the second one when they made the first one. Yeah, there's like 10 years or so in the universe between Half-Life 1 and 2. More than that? Was it more like 20? I don't know about this, Izzy. Poppycock. We'll be laughing about this whilst sipping champagne <laughs> and resting on Excuse our laurels. Me. Yeah, and the post-apocalypse that comes after this. Uh -huh. Laurels. Oh yeah, Alex must be a baby. Baby Alex Vance. Best female character in games besides uh girl from Beyond and Evil. <laughs> By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Jade. Jade! You know, this is far from the glory of Man. They're like quintuplets working down here. I've seen this guy so many times. 
find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. <laughs> Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high 25? Time You're like 30! This. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. <laughs> <laughs> Are those two married? I think they're married. I ship this. <laughs> wow, that thing's making a hell of a noise. Wom. Wom. Hey. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. I'm trying to uh, procrastinate the beginning of the end of the world. Forgive me for knowing what happens here. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Hey. Are you Barney? Are you Barney? When, when do I meet Barney? I forget. When's, when's Barney time? These VHS tapes you got here. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. The big yellow book of useful scientific words and phrases. Oh. That is so cute. Oh, it's a big buoy uh, system. Oh, it'd be so cool if I could open this door. Come all this way. And there was a secret there. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard this guy looks like my uncle. procedure today, Gordon. <laughs> yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say Yeah, that. I thought Barney was the Although first guy you meet in Half-Life. The possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. <gasps> is that I the Stanley Parable guy? Oh my god. doesn't need to hear all this? Oh, <gasps> you're right! He's a highly trained professional. Oh. He's assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Oh my god, good call. That's definitely the you're Stanley right. Parable a narrator. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Stanley went into the resonance cascade machine. Little did Stanley know this would be the end of the world. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Slip out of that HEV and it's something more comfortable. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? I'm waiting for you to tell He's me. Just savoring the moment. <laughs> tell me One that Stanley day, does look something. Back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. <laughs> yes, that's There's it. There's no need oh. for performance anxiety, Doctor Freeman. <laughs> of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. I love how many lines everyone has. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's start the cannon. <laughs> Don't you think this Testing. thing should have a helmet on it, though? Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Oh, E to just mount and dismount. Oh, that's oh, actually great. Right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Uh huh. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors. Um, way ahead of you, baby. Bring the anti mass spectrometer to mm -hmm. 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This does seem like grunt work, doesn't it? <laughs> Go in this dangerous place and push this button. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three. 